Trinity Episcopal Church located on King Street in downtown Martinsburg, West Virginia. If this is your first viewing, we're glad you've joined in. Be sure to look at the resources on the parish news posted on our website, trinitymartinsburg.org, including a copy of the Book of Common Prayer. We are very grateful for your offerings that continue to arrive through the website giving and through the mail. Your prayers and contributions are helping to sustain the ongoing ministry of Trinity Episcopal Church. Please take some time today, if you can, to make a donation. I am the Reverend Ann Weatherholt. I am your interim rector, and today we are celebrating Rogation Sunday, the Christian celebration of Earth Day. Rogation's been around a long time before Earth Day, but both remind us of the importance of our creation, how we depend on clean air and water, and on the living things that sustain and feed us. In this time of COVID-19, it may seem like creation has played an evil trick on us. We are assaulted by a virus that was previously unknown. We are fighting an invisible enemy that is transmitted by simple human interactions, such as shaking hands or eating at a restaurant or visiting our grandparents in a nursing home. It's important for us to know that God is with us. And God's wisdom is available to those who are seeking a cure and the development of a vaccine and ministering to those who are affected by this pandemic. Keep in mind that some previously deadly diseases have been eradicated or mitigated through the work of dedicated persons. Smallpox, polio, leprosy, and measles used to kill and maim huge portions of the population. Keep in mind also that the COVID-19 virus is killed by simple soap. When we wash our hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or more, the soap breaks down the virus's wall and helps prevent the spread of the virus to those we love and care for. As of now, our church buildings are still restricted for, for public worship, and we are grateful for your patience and your understanding. Bishop Klesmeyer has given the churches some benchmarks and requirements that must be in place prior to setting a day to reopen, and your vestry is working on them. Additionally, we plan to continue our online ministry so that we can reach those who may not be able to or may not feel comfortable to return, as well as those who are living out of the area who have discovered our online worship in the past few weeks. Team Trinity hosts a Zoom coffee hour on Sundays at 11.30 a.m. and plans are in the works for more online offerings for children and youth. Remember, even if you don't use a computer or know someone who does not, they can join a Zoom chat by telephone. For more information, check the church website or call the church office at 304-263-0990. That's 304-263-0994. And as always, thank you to Team Trinity for their creativity, patience, and care as they continue in the good work that God has given us to do.
Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia! Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy na name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And also with you let us pray almighty God Lord of heaven and earth we humbly pray that your gracious providence may give and preserve to our use the harvests of the land and of the seas and may prosper all who labor to gather them that we who are constantly receiving good things from your hand may always give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading for today is from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river, as I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees on the one side and on the other. He said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Arabah. And when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be many fish once these waters reach there it will become fresh and everything will live where the river goes people will stand fishing beside the sea from engedi to engelium it will be a place for the spreading of nets its fish will be of a great many kinds like the fish of the great sea but its swamps and marshes will not become fresh they are to be left for salt. On the banks, both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food, and their leaves for healing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm for today is Psalm 147. Hallelujah! How good it is to sing praises to our God! How pleasant it is to honor him with praise! The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. There is no limit to his wisdom. 
The Lord lifts up the lowly, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve mankind. He provides food for flocks and herds and for the young ravens when they cry. He is not impressed by the might of a horse. He has no pleasure in the strength of a man. But the Lord has pleasure in those who fear him, in those who await his gracious favor. Worship the Lord O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. The second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the church in Rome. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved, now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But we hope for what we do not see. We wait for it with patience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> 